go on. <laughs> the human body is really the greatest mystery of all. What is the body made of? How do we keep it working? What is illness? Where does it come from? What is thinking? What is memory? Where does that take place? What is death? Where do we go after? We only see the outside of the body. Human imagination is our response to mystery. Mystery drives imagination. With that, I'm going to introduce the man who just said it and tell a little story behind it. And as you see, put the lights on in the audience for a minute, please. I, oh, when I talk, I like to see the audience over. <laughs> the little house lights, that's right. Um, as some of you who read Wired Magazine have seen a little short story on, on Jay Walker's library. Wired said it's the greatest private library in the world. And Jay, uh, tried to get me to come there at different times and it never worked out. I finally went there and saw it one night with, with uh, John Kamen, since been back, stayed overnight there. And the first time I walked in, I started crying. I mean, just crying, crying like I cried with charity tonight. It's just amazing. I mean, we, I, I hate to use the expression, you know, I felt like a pig in shit because we just saw the the lungs of a pig, but uh, it's, just, it's just an astonishing place of, of collections of, of stuff, of books, of things that you can pick up and touch, just this visceral feeling of, of going back hundreds of years in memory and imagination. And um, it was from seeing these books, touching these books, that Jay and I, Mark, John, have come up with these three-minute presentations that are going to be in each of the 10 sessions. And there's even going to be an aspect of it in the, in the breakout room that you'll see with the actual plates from some of these books. So Jay picked out a bunch of books. I came, we edited them a bit, put them into some collections, about 25 to 30 books. Uh, that go back 500 years. These are some of the books in each session. He'll show some of these books. Uh, and then there's a, a surprise that we will maybe halfway through the program tell you about so you can take actually the books home with you. Anyway, it is an honor to introduce Jay Walker and this Library of Human Imagination. Thank you. So as Richard said, I'm going to do a series of 10 talks, each one about a different aspect of human imagination for about the past 500 years. Because it turns out in the last 500 years, human imagination has undergone an unbelievable revolution. You see, the history of the exploration of our bodies has played a critical role in how we have learned to imagine things. And literally, it's driven our imagination to create great science, which has then turned around to create great imagination. So we're going to start today with the first session on imagination, and we're going to talk about the freedom to imagine. Because it turns out the freedom to imagine is very modern. This is a medical book, the actual first medical book done in Japan. Okay? So here you're looking at a Japanese medical book and these might look familiar. These are the kidneys. This is done in 1800. You see, in Japan, with the tradition of the shogunate and Buddhism, all dissection was forbidden. Japan was hundreds of years ahead of the West when it came to hygiene, when it came to cleanliness. But when it came to doing the lung, this is what the Japanese had. They had no history of imagination because they were not allowed to imagine. It was against the law to imagine. And in many of the Eastern cultures, they suffer a deficit of imagination because imagination is the antithesis of tradition. And of course, tradition is to be respected. Now here is the same period of time. Oops, I don't want to trip. 
A man named Massini in 1800, the same time, looked at the human body and he was dissecting the body. And this is an image of that dissection. Not very pretty, but this is what he looked at. And he said, there has to be a better way to reveal the beauty and understanding of this body. And so using just a syringe with iodine, he produced over eight years the most beautiful anatomical illustrations in history. And these are them. This is Massini's work. This is what he began with, right there. And this is what he ended with. By injecting iodine and following every blood vessel and then painting exactly what he found, he was able for the first time in human history to start to peel back the layers of what it looked like long before photography. This is done in 1813. It's 200 years old. And yet, when we take a modern MRI scan and we compare it to what Massini does, we see how amazing a scalpel, some iodine, and a big dose of human imagination can do to reveal the inside of the human body. We're going to see many more of these in the next few days. And these Massini illustrations will be in the breakout room on nine easels. They are by far and away the most spectacular anatomical illustrations ever done. And they're 200 years old. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.